Rings of Power is a disgrace to Lord of the Rings and shouldn't have gotten a season one, never mind a follow-up, but Amazon originally boasted about how massive the numbers were, but it looks like only a measly 37% of US viewers actually finished this series. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. So I wanted to start off with this Culture Crave post because people are laughing on it. Culture Crave said only 37% of US viewers finished the Rings of Power via the Hollywood Reporter. Now, these are actually numbers that we heard rumors of months ago. We heard the rumor that 67% or 65% of viewers in the U.S. did not finish the series, and this number really does line up. So that rumor was actually true, but Amazon tried to almost deny it and throw it under the bridge because right after those rumors were, you know, coming out and they were kind of circulating, they released, uh, you know, a, a post saying how big the series was, how massive uh, it, it was doing for Prime Video. And they have tried to claim that over 25 million households had watched the Rings of Power and it was crazy and they were so happy and so proud and so excited for the future of the Rings of Power, yet they never confirmed that and we never saw any evidence of that. And from the start, we knew that Amazon was almost going to kind of damage control for the series, even if it had done bad, they were going to tout it as a success because, of course, it's one of the most expensive, you know, pieces of entertainment of all time, the most expensive show of all time, and they're never going to put money into a series the way that this did, they, they did for this probably ever again. I mean, maybe in the future, right? But at least not right now and nowhere in the near future. And Rings of Power is something that they were really trying to bank on. They know that there's a giant fan base. There's a lot of Tolkien lovers out there. But with this series, they did everything wrong. I am a Tolkien lover. I mean, you can see behind me, I have, I have, I have stacks of Tolkien content because it's just so good. But unfortunately, they just did the worst job possible with this show. Some of the casting was good. I'm not going to sit here and say that it all was bad. Some of the casting was good. Some of the CGI was good. Some of the sets were good. But a lot of it was just very mediocre. Like, they just did not do the best job that they could have. And of course, then you start throwing in non-Tolkien characters. And then you have actors and actresses that play characters like Princess Disa, who just constantly went on about racism and sexism and toxicity. And any time we would criticize the way that they acted or the choices their characters made, they just took it so personally and they attacked us saying that we are terrible people for simply criticizing this show. And it ended up being kind of a disaster for Amazon, but now they can't hide. They can't lie again because now we know that only 37% of US viewers actually finished The Rings of Power and then overseas it reached 45%, but this didn't even this didn't even hit their expectations because Amazon considers a 50% completion rate to be solid but not spectacular never mind underneath that again 45% overseas 37 US these these do not hit their expectations and scrolling down, people are laughing. Somebody said, I'm part of the 37% and Culture Crave even responded to this, saying, I finished it as well, but don't really have any desire to watch season two, to be honest. Some of the storylines are not that interesting, which I completely agree with. I mean, I'm a content creator. I've talked about Rings of Power. I'm talking about Rings of Power right now. So when a season two inevitably releases, I will watch it so that I can talk about it. I can judge it because I don't like to talk about content I myself have not consumed, um, but I'm not looking forward to it. They could cancel it tomorrow and I would be praising the entertainment gods. I would be saying hallelujah, exactly what we wanted because there's no reason for this to get a season two. People did not like it. People had a lot of criticisms for it, but they just 
they don't care. You know, it's not like they're trying to listen to fan feedback. It's not like they're really trying to hone in on what makes Tolkien's work so amazing. They're just kind of like, eh, all right, let's make a season two. Let's follow the same, let's follow the same line that we did with season one. And I just don't think that it's going to go well. Somebody said, and they somehow have the balls to do another season, most expensive TV show in history as well. They are doing another season. I think it's just because they had signed for a certain amount of seasons. Originally, years ago, we heard that they wanted to do five seasons. Right now, we don't know if they're going to hit that number. We at least know, obviously, season one is done season two is almost done filming from what we understand or done filming at this point and then they have confirmed they are doing a season three as well but besides that we have no idea what they're actually going to do i hope they cancel it because i don't want them uh continuously spinning on on tolkien's legacy but i do understand that you know they probably signed a certain amount of contracts when you know deals are made they they don't want to back out of them but uh, I can't really say that anyone's that excited about it going forward. Again, these are the rumors that we heard. Uh, you know, Prime Video Rings of Power lost 63% of its domestic audience. These were rumors back in April that they kind of tried to dismiss, but... We also know that Rings of Power failed to even break into the top 15 streaming programs of 2022 and wasn't even the most streamed Prime video series you would think for a series this expensive. It at least would have gotten, you know, top 15 streaming programs or would at least bare minimum be the most streamed Prime video series, but that did not happen, which I, of course, think is hilarious. I want this show to fail. It was just bad. I don't want them to be successful. I don't want this to go well. Usually I say, meh, I'm, I'm, I'm open to seeing more and getting a season two or when it comes to video games, a sequel, but in this case, I just don't want it to exist. And then, like I mentioned, uh, the Rings of Power actress actually admitted the goal of the series is to warp people's vision of Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings, which, of course, is not going to happen. People are never going to change their opinions on Tolkien. Pe people that love his work are not going to look at this show and go, wow, this show is great. You know what? I like this show more than his original work because this is diverse and inclusive and it's just a little bit more modern. There are never going going to be people that are going to say that and you know what they deserve all of the backlash they're getting and now of course they're getting called out for months and months and months ago trying to damage control and subvert discussion on you know this this viewership that was rumored and they said how amazing it did for them and how proud they were of the cast and then they announced season two and that they're going to do a season three but it looks like the rumors were actually correct and only a measly 37 percent of u.s viewers actually finished this god-awful series but that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.